Hello everyone, my name is Jax, and today we are going to update our 5M server. Just for a little disclaimer before the video officially starts, I want to say if you don't have a 5M server already or 7-zip, please watch my video. It'll be in the top right hand card. Please watch it and then come back to update your 5M server. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we have our server from that video right here. I called it my cool server. You can call it whatever. In here, this server is currently outdated because that video was a little bit ago. So since then, TX Admin has updated. TX Admin is the um, what uses like the console. That's the interface basically, um, instead of a uh, just a console. These files are outdated. So what we need to do is we need to update our files. So let's go ahead and go to Chrome. What we're going to do is we're going to search up 5M server artifacts windows should be the first link. I also have the link in the description if you just want to jump to the link. So let's go ahead and click on this link. It's artifacts fill windows master. As long as it says windows, you should be fine. What we're going to do is we're going to download this one, the very top one. Um, I said in my last video, I don't recommend downloading these due to the fact that it's going to tell you to update, even though you're like, oh, but I already did update. No, you're going to download this one because personally, I have not found any problems with it. So I recommend downloading at least this one. It's the latest version of TX admin interface. So that's why I recommend people download that one. I already said, I assume that you have 7-zip. So this is what 7-zip looks like. Um, we're going to go into our server files and we're going to go into this folder, this file, I mean, and control A, drag and drop. And then it's going to load like the Windows Explorer version. And then it's going to ask if I want to replace, you're going to press replace. It's going to replace all the files with the updated files. And then we don't need this one anymore. So we can go in here, press the F key on your keyboard. It should jump to fxserver.exe. If for some reason it doesn't, just search for fxserver.exe. If for some reason you don't have fxserver.exe, which shouldn't happen, uh, re-download the file or something went wrong when you extracted the files. Other than that, we're going to just assume it works. So press enter. The console should load up. It'll load up everything below. We don't really need to stare at this. We just need to go jump into Chrome. We need to go to localhost 40120. And then right off the bat, you can see that TX admin does look a little different. The login screen looks different. And we're going to press login with cfx.re. This is my username. If this is not your username for whatever reason, you can press not you. It'll log you out. And then you can log back into the correct user. And then it'll go back to the screen and press continue and it'll say logging you in and now you can see how tx admin the interface looks different so we have players whitelist all of our buttons up here so we have like system settings master actions are right there you can do whatever settings are up here too you can go through everything dashboard have all fancy buttons now config editor is mostly the same. The side panels are different. The logo is updated too. That's pretty cool. And then um, of course, copyright and version numbers. Everything looks a little f refreshed, I would say. But um, hey, that's it for the video. Uh, we updated our server. So thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe. If you haven't seen my previous video, go check it out. It's a pretty good video. Also, I have a new schedule. I am uploading uh, videos once every week on Wednesdays. I would say the time frame would be between 12 p.m. and 11 p.m. Other than that, thank you for watching and bye.